I'm going to show you a fun discovery experience you can do with people. Uh, people have this natural curiosity about how they're related to various uh, famous people, and we can often use important events that are coming up as a way to draw people into family history. So imagine that um, Hamilton musical is coming to your town and everyone wants to know that there's a big hype about this. Imagine they want to know how they're related to Alexander Hamilton. Uh, so let me just show you how to do that. Uh, so you come into the Family Tree app, you come to Find a Person, and you would type in Alexander Hamilton. Okay, and we know he died in New York. Uh, sad, he died in a sad way. Uh, and here I wrote down his death year, 1804. Okay, so notice we don't have to know a lot about the person. Uh, we just put in some basic information. Uh, and then notice here that um, here I have right here, it looks like he's actually on the tree twice. So there's this one that has a picture, this one that doesn't have a picture. Uh, so that'd be nice maybe for those to get merged at some point. But I'm going to click on Alexander Hamilton, and I'm going to hit View My Relationship. So notice that actually Alexander Hamilton is my third cousin. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I'm actually uh, related to him through his wife, Elizabeth. Okay. Um, so this is kind of a neat discovery experience. Uh, and again, like I showed you with relatives around me, I can turn this into a temple opportunity experience by maybe clicking on Philip, John Schuler, and then hitting Descendants with Pass and then I could hit five generations, uh, and then I could then uh, click uh, temple. And again, here I have some uh, temple opportunities of some of my cousins. Uh, you don't have to use that feature. I think the kind of neat feature is just to discover how you're related to different people from history. So let's do another example. So again, I hit more, find a person. Uh, you know, one that a lot of us uh, love and are grateful to is uh, Walt Disney. So let's click on Walt Disney. Uh, and then he was born in Illinois in, what year was he born? 1901. 1901, so let's type that in here, 1901. So again, uh, and these are things you could look up on Wikipedia. So if there's, if you wanted to look up Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone or George Washington, all you need to know is, is basically when and where they were born or where and when they died. So here we'll uh, look for Walt Disney and we'll come down here and here we can see Walt Disney and we see photos of him. So we'll click on him. Uh, and so you can see under memories, you can see some of the neat photos and other things that people have uh, loaded about him. Here's his passport. You can also go into sources. You can see the different records that captured his life. Uh, if you want, you can see his parents and siblings. Because uh, you remember, what, one of the things family history does is it just lets us connect with people in a really fun uh, way. Uh, and so then what I do is I just click those three dots in the upper right corner, and I hit view my relationship. So it turns out Walt Disney is my sixth cousin, five times removed. Uh, and so if I look here, I can see that this is on my um, mom's side, which is the creative side of my family. So actually, this is kind of neat to see that uh, connection that we have. And if I scroll up here, I can see our common ancestor. Uh, so we just wanted to show you this uh, fun little trick you can do on the family tree. It's a great way to help your kids discover um, interesting things about their family tree. It's also a way to take things that you're reading about in the news or historical events and trying to make it personal and connected to you.